tells us of a man named Job who lived in the land of us. Job was the most righteous man on earth by God's own admission. Satan told God that the only reason that Job served God was because God had blessed and protected him. Satan asked permission to take away all of Job's possessions. Job re in a moment's time, Job lost all of his possessions and his children. Job responded by saying, The Lord given, and the Lord hath taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So Satan then told God, if he had permission to take away Job's health, that Job would curse God. Satan asked for permission to take away Job's health. God agreed, and Job was smitten from head to foot with boils. Even in this condition, Job continued to trust God. The situation of Job and many other horrible things that we see happening around the world today leads many of us to ask the question, why do bad things happen to good people? This is the question that I will be answering for you today in three main points. Bad things happen to good people to reveal God's power, to test our faith, and to ultimately cause good in our lives. Let's look at my first point. One of the reasons that bad things happen to good people is to reveal God's power. There are many stories in the Bible that tell of this, and I would like to share two of those with you. One is recorded in the book of Exodus, and in the beginning of Exodus, it tells how God used Moses to deliver the people of Israel from slavery in Egypt. Now, God had delivered them from slavery, and they were escaping to ultimately go to the promised land. God parted the Red Sea for them to cross. They turned around and saw the Egyptian army chasing after them. At this point, they were very scared, and they thought that this was a very bad thing. However, Moses said to the people in Exodus 14, verse 13, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you today. For the Egyptians whom ye have seen today, ye will see no more forever. God destroyed the Egyptian army and delivered the people of Israel. So that incident happened to show God's power. Another incident recorded in the Bible is in 2 Chronicles 20, verse 17. Jehoshaphat was king of the country of Judah at this time. And Judah was going to be attacked by the countries of Moab and Ammon. The people of Judah thought that this was a horrible thing. They couldn't understand why God would allow this to happen. But King Jehoshaphat said, you shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourself still, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. Fear ye not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow go out to them, for the Lord your God will fight for you. God did indeed fight for them, and he delivered them. So we see in these two incidents that God was showing his power in delivering his people from what they thought was four very horrible situations. Going back to the story of Job, God showed his power to Job by asking him a series of rhetorical questions in order to show Job that he was in control, that he was almighty. The second reason that bad things happen to good people is to test our faith. 1 Peter 4, verses 12 and 13 says, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial that is about to try you, as though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice inasmuch as you are partakers with Christ's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, he may be glad also with exceeding joy. So we are actually not to think it's strange when bad things happen to us. One of the reasons they happen is to test our faith and to make us stronger. And Christ told us that we would be partakers of his sufferings. He suffered, and so we like him are to walk in his steps. And when bad things happen to us, that's to test our faith and to make us stronger in the end. James 1 verses 2 and 3 says, My brethren, come in all joy when you fall into diverse temptations, knowing that the trying of your faith work in patience. So not only are we to not think it strange, but we are to count in all joy because God is making our faith stronger and stronger as we weep through the bad things that happen to us on this earth, rely on Him, and look to Him for strength. The third reason that bad things happen to good people is to ultimately cause good in our lives. And God works good out of every situation that happens to us, even though we may not understand why bad things are happening. In the end, God will work good out of it as we continue to go forward in faith and trust and rely 
Peter Marshall once said, God will not permit any troubles to come upon us unless he has some specific plan by which a great blessing can come out of that difficulty. So we've seen that bad things happen to good people for three reasons. To reveal God's power, to test our faith and make it stronger, and to ultimately cause good in our lives. And this brings to mind this verse in Romans 8, verse 28, which I would like to leave you with. And it says, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose.